what do we think spectacles or no i think no <laughs> i just love writing things down this is a lot of this is a bit of a situation We are reviewing my month of July on YouTube. This is going to be a really quick video because I haven't done much this month except for hitting 150 subscribers. So that's exciting. That's kind of all I have to tell you. No, so what I'm going to do is tell you what's happening. I am still in Tasmania. <laughs> I still live with my mum. I haven't found anywhere to live yet. I haven't found a job yet. And I am living my best life. So that's out of the way. I've just actually started looking for houses to live in and I've started interviewing. So what I've decided to do for this series, because I think one day this will be useful. <laughs> one day when I have one million YouTube subscribers, people are going to be like, oh. How did she do it? Watch these and you'll know. I have actually decided to incorporate something a little bit different in these because I think they're a little bit boring. I'm going to do a monthly reset plan with me check-in type situation using Notion. Basically, Notion is like a bullet journal, but it's an app. So it's kind of a planning app, but it's sort of note-taking calendar there's sort of, sort of productivity based anyway there's a link down below which is not sponsored and i'm not earning any money i just want to share the link i'm sure most of you who've clicked on this will already know what notion is if anyone's interested in how i set this up or my template i'm happy to share it but i actually took most of this template from someone else which is also down below i've kind of sort of changed it to suit my my needs what do I need to tell you? We're going to go through a little mini tour of my Notion and I'm only new with using Notion, but I'm going to show you what I've got in my Notion, how I use it, what I plan to use it for. Then uh, I'll do like three sections. I will do section one will be kind of a reflection or a review of the previous month. And then I will do a plan for my next month, upcoming month. So I will do that with you every month. I should note that I also use a traditional agenda that I, I'm just, I just love writing things down. Ever since I was little, I've been obsessed with diaries and like journals. So this is my YouTube notes. Basically, I plan anything I've got. I use a fresh page and I have been using for years. A combination of like digital, like my calendar is in here, but it's also on my phone. And so anyway, I don't know if Notion's going to work for me, but let's see. I have this open in my house, usually like in my kitchen, so I can just refer to it. And if I've got like chores, I just write them down. It's really easy. So it's more of a daily to-dos, quick notes, reminders kind of thing. If anyone has Notion and they use it and they're really amazing at it, please link anything down below any suggestions templates how to use it properly <laughs> that was a very long-winded intro so i do apologize for context for anyone who's joining me who hasn't seen any of my previous videos i am samantha i'm 35 single i live in tasmania and i started youtube in february of 2023 currently i think i'm at just under 200 subscribers like 180 ish so not many. I started this series so I could kind of keep tabs, I guess, on my actual journey and my actual analytics for anyone who's interested in how a channel goes from zero to being monetized, basically. If you're interested in, in going along this journey with me, please check out the previous videos. As I said, most of this is like a merged template from two separate templates. A bit confusing and I'm still getting used to how this app works. But this is my home page. I've put my mood board here just so I've got a bit of, you know, daily inspo. This was actually physical. I took a photo of this before I moved to Tassie. So it was on a pin board. You can still see the pins. On the left, I've got productivity, career, 
life and personal growth and essentially what I'm going to do every month is just sort of run through some of these things like the monthly check-in but I'm going to start at the top just so you can see. My monthly goals are over here so obviously I need to find a job and a house to live in. I want to try and fit in going for a walk at least once a week. I can do more but I'm going to try for once and I was really good in Sydney. I was drinking two to three litres of water per day and since I've moved I've been really slack. I think maybe that's just because of of the whole moving thing maybe I don't know when I'm exercising more often I get at one liter in really early in the morning and then I've only got two to do the rest of the day so I want to make some time to catch up with friends because I've moved and <laughs> feeling a little bit hermity so I've got here my long-term goals and I've got a little progress bar so I want to hit 500 subscribers on YouTube and then obviously a thousand and then 4,000 watch time hours. I'm actually nearly halfway. I nearly got 2,000 watch time hours. So that's exciting. And then obviously that's contributes to getting monetized. I want to set up my Pilates room, reformer room at home. Then I also want to learn how to do calligraphy, which I haven't really done anything. I've done 1% of that. And I want to have regular horse riding lessons I want to plan a ski holiday next year, hopefully find a partner in crime. I need to start dating. I'm 35 and I'm single. Wouldn't mind finding somebody. I could probably manage one book a month. So I want to try and read 12 books in a year. And I want to grow my own vegetables, but I can't start doing that until I've got somewhere to live. And hopefully it has a garden with space for that. Then I've got like when I complete them, they go over here, this section. Then we have daily focus. So this is sort of like just my daily to do's and I'm doing a daily gratitude as well. So every day I obviously enter something that I'm grateful for and I didn't do yesterday. What was I grateful for yesterday? I am, I am now grateful for living closer to family. So Today I will do one as well. Let's say YouTube. Finding my passion. Okay, that is my daily gratitude done. I have to do that tomorrow and I'm doing this now. I've done that. I've filmed my outro and I've finished this template. So this month I really would like to find my new routine and settle in Launceston. However, that involves getting a job and a house. And moving it's already the fifth <laughs> weekly reset is just basically what I need to do for the week keeping on top of everything so I've done that for YouTube of filming this and I haven't done that and next week I've got what is coming up and just events so tomorrow I'm going to Oz kick in the morning to watch my two nephews Oz kick if you don't know is AFL for community for young kids to learn how to play AFL. My monthly check-in, so I've got here August. I've got a little icon here for moving because that's what August has been all about. Highlight of the last month was, ooh, I mean, it's high and a low because it was stressful, but moving to Tasmania, moving back to Tasmania. This month I want to feel settled. I'll be over the moon next month if I have my Pilates reformer room set up. One thing I will regret not doing this month is not taking advantage of my time off to work on my YouTube channel. I will take care of myself by having as many baths as possible. Fun fact, I had a bath in Sydney, but it was the tiniest bath you will ever encounter. And I didn't really use it for ba bathing in. I didn't fit basically. I'm 5'10". So finding a big enough bath is actually on my list for my house hunting. <laughs> anyway, mum has a really big freestanding bath. And I always say, oh my god, I need to 
have as many baths as I can when I'm here visiting. So I've only had like three and I've been here for six weeks. So I need to take advantage of that. So content trackers. So basically what I want to do is just keep an eye on my analytics that I have for mainly YouTube and Instagram. I have got blog and TikTok here because I do have a website with a blog and I have a TikTok. So far I haven't really done anything since COVID lockdowns. So if you go to my TikTok, you'll just see lots of me dancing, <laughs> mainly just dancing videos. Oh, Jackie. Yeah. 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 So let's go to YouTube. This is my banner on my YouTube page. So I've got monthly goals here. What have I got? I want to hit 200 subscribers in August and I want to hit 2000 watch time hours. So I will come back to this next month and fill this in, see what I actually hit, just so I can keep track of where I'm at, basically. And let's just open up my YouTube. Ooh, I'm 179 subscribers now for my month of July. I'm just going to say that July, my subscriber count was 172 and my watch time hours, this is quite interesting actually. You can see where I'm getting all my watch time hours from. My luxury bag collection and how I clean my pet kit pure max. I don't want to see what I gained. I want to see what the running total is. How do I do that? Okay, so I had 10,342 views. And watch time hours, I had 654.7. And I gained 59 subscribers in July. But I really feel like I should have a running tally. I add another one. Thanks total subscriber count and so I'm at I was at 172 and I guess maybe views is probably the only other one that's that important total channel views 29 so then I've got like an idea page, which has just got like all my ideas that I put down for videos. So I'm going to go to Instagram. Same thing here. I've got like a plan for like ideas for posts, content planner link, and I've got my Instagram growth. So I've already filled in what my followers were in July because it'd be easier to look on Instagram at your followers. So I was sitting on 20,627. That's really all I care about at the moment for Instagram. So I will come back, see what that number's like in August. To be honest, I've been really slack with Instagram. I haven't really been posting at all for a while, since Easter. I need to go back to posting at least once every few days, if not every day. Let's go to my blog and TikTok. These are like, basically just copies of the other pages for YouTube. And I've got goals, entered any of those. And TikTok, I haven't even done, so let's just move on. Social, then we've got life, I've got Fluffy and Bee, and basically I've got like a health log for them, so whenever they've been unwell, and I've started keeping track of that, and I've got like things that I want to get for them that they might want or need <laughs> and then I've got just a list of what I need to buy and then I've got house things which I've got house hunting spreadsheet of just everything I've looked at so far for rental I haven't got any to do's because I haven't got house and the things I need is basically the same it's just a checklist of things that I want to buy for my house so reformer 
Oh, I've got like random stuff. Just lots of furniture, basically. This depends on the house, of course. And then I've just got like a books. That's all I've got in personal growth is books. And I am actually reading The Mystery Gut because I have IBS or SIBO. I'm not sure which one. So I'm reading that. Got that from the library, actually. I am a card-carrying library member. And I'm also really slowly getting through the Bond series. I've been a bit slack with reading, so I need to get back into that. And I also want to read Outlander from start to finish because there's more books, I think, than there are TV series. And I love the TV series and I really love reading. So yeah, I'm gonna read those. I haven't started that yet, but that is the goal. That's that. Basically, I have been really slack with YouTube this month because I've had a few other things on my mind. Of course, running theme. <laughs> Moving forward, this is probably a good thing to do so it's not so fucking boring. Oh dear. Just keep a little bit of analytics in there so it's interesting at the very least and then I can give you updates on whatever else is going on. And yeah, I think I only filmed one like side clip for this episode which was when I hit 150 subscribers. Oh my God, I haven't filmed anything in forever. So, oh my gosh, I'm just sitting at my desk. Not really at my desk. I'm just sitting at the dining table with Chester. <laughs> Let me show you, hold on. Becky, Chester is 17 in November and he is just sitting here with me. <laughs> And Fluffy and Bee are roaming around the house, terrorizing the place. Anyway, I just needed to come on and obviously I wasn't planning on doing this. I'm just um, writing in my diary, scheduling and all that sort of thing and planning. But today I reached 150 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> and I know that's not a lot really it's not really a milestone but it's sort of a milestone that i had for myself so i'm excited i just have to show you on the screen there it is actually i'm at 151 today and i've also hit 1600 watch time hours i think let me just go down here yeah look at that and it is the 20th of july so I think my first upload was maybe around the 19th of February. Oh, horrendous lighting. So it's, it's it's a slow burn with subscribers, but I'm working on that. And there's B. Hello. Anyway. Yeah, exciting. So I'm just planning some YouTube videos. I've had a bit of a interesting start to the month. So I've had two videos planned and queued up and they went off like a bang and did quite well. I mean, the second one did better, but uh, this is the week where I haven't done any editing, any filming, any planning, and I haven't got anything ready to film or, I mean, upload for Sunday. So, oh my gosh, OMG. Basically, I'm still in holiday mode, so I haven't really been too... <laughs> too hard on myself. I'm just going with the flow basically because when I start back working with a full-time job I will be ruining the day that I didn't take my time and enjoy this break. So anyway, P.S. I wasn't actually planning on doing a three-minute video just to show you about my subscriber count but here we are. So I just also wanted to mention a few things that I've decided and sorry if you can hear that noise it's mum's fridge and it just Actually, my hair looks not horrendous. I just need to have a sip of tea. So, uh, sorry, I'm boring you. This is, I haven't done any of this type of video to camera about YouTube since before I moved, before everything was like, went like chaotic. Yeah, I haven't done anything for a good long while. So anyway, I'm just sick of holding the camera. So I haven't actually posted anything on social media about my YouTube channel. <laughs> mainly because I didn't want to have not have anything on my channel to be like hey guys check out my YouTube there's only two videos it's not that I'm scared and I'm not embarrassed it's just I'm one of those people that I like to have things done and show you the finished product I don't like to be like oh here's this drawing that I'm working on and it's only like a half done 
maybe it's fear of criticism it's probably from modeling I don't know but basically I just don't like having something put out there that's not I'm not ready to show people so I think with YouTube I particularly I didn't want to just have 10 subscribers I wanted to have like 100 subscribers and I'm at that point so I feel like how's the time maybe 200 when I get 200 I will put it on Instagram and Facebook not that I use Facebook ever thanks so much for watching thank you for sticking with me till the end if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video